Evening. Welcome to House Groups. My name is David Soren. I'm the lead pastor at Renovation Church. I am so excited that you're here tonight. You know, house groups really are the bread and butter of Renovation Church. This is what we do. This is what makes us really unique as a church. We have a ton of people signed up as 80% of our adults in our house group are in a house group. Uh, I think we have over 330 of you are signed up and a ton of you are new. Uh, even in our groups that are a year old or two years old or five years old, all of our groups have uh, a number of new people in them. So if you look around at the people around you, if you're feeling like I'm the only new person here, uh, that's not true. <laughs> number of new people in every single group, including we have a group of almost all brand new people on uh, Monday nights with Tony West, which is great. So if you are here and you're trying a group for the very first time, uh, one of the things I want to encourage you is remember that relationships take time. They just do. Uh, you're probably not going to meet a best friend tonight, right? Uh, it's just how life works. So give it time. Keep investing in it. Keep coming. Keep seeking God. You're going to love it. Just trust me. Uh, for those of you that have been in a house group before, I want to talk to you about something that we're going to do differently this year. Uh, as um, most of you know, we've really been trying to increase our culture of prayer at Renovation Church. Uh, as the people of Renovation Church, we want to become more reliant, more dependent on God and not on ourselves. And we really want prayer to be an opportunity for us to encounter God and not just to read Him a list of requests that we've already looked at. And so prayer is going to look different in house groups this year. So here's one of the ways it'll look different. At the beginning of your small group time every single week, uh, you all will do, in, just in your small group, a prayer exercise together. And that'll look kind of different every single week. So some weeks we'll have you just praise God for what he's doing in your life. Some weeks you might write out your prayer. Uh, some weeks you'll open up the Bible and pray out of what you see in there. We know this is going to feel different. It might even feel a bit awkward, and so we're going to ease into it. It's going to take some time, and in time, it will feel normal. And I know for some of you, you've never actually prayed out loud before. Uh, no worries. We're going to ease you into that, too. But I do want to tell you that talking to God, even out loud, is an important skill for a Christ follower. So we're going to get there. And also, you'll still have the opportunity during discussion time each week to talk about your lives, to talk about what's going on. And your small group leader is going to be encouraging you throughout the week to share prayer requests. And so we just want to make sure that you're still prayed for as well. Uh, as you get into small groups in just a minute, uh, you're going to have an opportunity to look at Jesus' teaching from John chapter 3 about being born again. It's this idea that if you want to see the kingdom of God, if you want to enter heaven, if you want to be saved, you have to be born again. And Jesus says that it's a spiritual rebirth. It's spirit comes from the spirit. That's how we're born again. And that happens when you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and the Holy Spirit comes into you and allows you to be born again. Now, I, I don't know if you remember the Capital One commercial uh, from years ago where a, a whole bunch of barbarians come and they invade a mall where people are shopping and they pass the store clerk and the store clerk kind of goes ah and they spray perfume on the barbarians I think that's how a lot of people think of Christianity like we're these messed up sinners but if we just have a little reform in our lives then we'll become the people were meant to be, but that's not how Jesus describes it. He's saying, no, 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 you don't need just a little perfume. You need a complete reset. You need a rebirth. You need to start over to be born a second time of the Spirit. And so as you read the passage in small groups, I want you to think, when did that happen in your life? Has it happened in your life? Was it at a real specific moment, or did you just look back one day and say, huh, that must have happened to me. I can see how God did that. And so the last thing I want to say is as you get into small groups and you begin talking about this topic, you can talk as much as you like. If you want to talk a lot, you can. If you want to talk a little, you can. If you don't even want to talk this first week, you don't have to. Uh, I pray that God uh, just blesses your year and that you have an amazing time in house groups. Amen.